Hello Trinai, welcome back to my channel. So a quick update, don't pay attention to my eyes because it's been watering for two days now and I think it's because how dry the air is. I need to buy a humidifier or something like that. But I've been sleeping so well, whoever does not, I've moved and I've been recharging for a while now. Now, a lot of you know that I have stopped doing private readings for, was it a month and a half or two now? I'm not sure, but I took some time to deal with the existing customers because my waiting time was two months and I didn't want to um, extend that and I've been also working on my own website um, with a lot of help from my brother he's amazing at kind of making my vision a reality so once you're gonna go on my website you're going to notice that there is a lot of references to water and it's just very precious to me the ocean water itself there is a lot of story to it when it comes to my journey of shall we call it spiritual journey i need a new word for that <laughs> i feel like it doesn't touch on everything you know so yes there is going to be a lot going on in the future too because i am working on my own deck as well I am going to be including, guys, as you will see in the website, other options too. I'm including Learn Intuitively course. I am also including guidance on your spiritual business. Whoever wants to start your own spiritual business or if you're lost, if you need advice, you're going to have that option too. I am going to be including Skype readings as well because the readings that I've had with people before, on Skype uh, were very precious to me and I really like seeing you in front of me. So the Skype session I'm going to be offering a long one. It's going to be an hour Skype session. Uh, some people, if you will feel like you need an extra one, um, hit me up, let me know. I'll also be offering half an hour reading, which is these both are question based. So the half an hour one is one topic, three questions. The one hour length is two topics, six questions, and I think I was doing two, topic, two topics, four questions before, I believe. So these will be more in depth. What I wanna focus on in my readings um, is on your own growth and how can you truly improve or recognize what it is that you need to do in order to live this life that you wanna live. And that is why in the description box, you're going to notice on readings, I do have an example of, um, of a power question versus the restricted question. So the restricted question would sound, which date or year will I be happy? So I know that people are curious and they want to know exact timing when it comes to things, but timing always depends on you. And that's how I like to do my readings, saying, hey, why don't you ask a power question instead of saying which date and year or year I'm going to be happy finally. The power question would be, what can I do to lead a happier life, right? So that's when we're going to be digging into things. Um, I'd also have to say, if you're not ready to dig into the shadow work, you might find these readings a little bit intense. But I think triggering is also a good thing. Sooner or later, you're going to be ready to take a look at that reading or take a look at that recording or notes that you have and say, hey, you know what? This is actually something that I should pay attention to. So yes, I want to dig deep. And um, now when it comes to half an hour readings, a lot of you who have booked readings with me previously, you probably have noticed that if I do feel like I need to go overboard with time, I'm going to take that extra 20 half an hour. I don't care, you know? So let's say if you book um, one topic, three questions reading with me, which is usually half an hour, it's a bit of guidance with it, right? And if I feel that in your case, I need to dig a bit deeper and ask extra questions and there's some other information I need to look at, I'll do it. It's not about, you know, I have spent half an hour, the time is up, done, you know. Now, nah, so I'm very also open when it comes to tweaking time, but obviously not, you know, all the time. Whenever I feel it's necessary for a 
person. Um, what else? So Learn Intuitive course is there too. I'm working with two people now who are uh, learning to read intuitively. I had an amazing time with someone yesterday. Uh, amazing chat. Then guidance to spiritual business. I have my mediumship reading up. I have advice from your higher self reading, which is um, quicker. I am going to be um, doing this reading very open-minded. In the description box, you're going to notice I said I'm going to allow the messages to come through naturally, meaning this is not question-based reading. Whatever your guides combined with my guides are telling me, I'll let you know about. But if you want me to focus on, let's say, career more so than anything else, I'll be looking at those messages more so than anything um, else that might be coming through, but I still touch on it. Now, I also have a meeting, I will, meeting, reading, I would like to move country city home, that's included because I think in 2020 that's quite an important reading to do, I've noticed not only me, a lot of people around me are thinking about relocating or have relocated too. And then what kind of future partner am I attracting? Now when it comes to this, why I have named it in such terms, why, why I didn't say you know, the description of your future partner because what I want you to know through all of these readings, guys, that you hold the power in your hands. So let's say if you did um, have a reading, what kind of future partner am I attracted? And uh, you started working a lot on your own self-development and you made very important life decisions or changes in your life. You, I like to see it as you're opening new doors for new partners to come in. Right? because your energy has shifted, therefore the people who might be coming in your life are those, um, shall we call them, new opportunities, right? So um, you, a lot of the times when I do, did this reading before, I did have people coming through saying, hey, I met this person, which thank you very much for you, every time you give me feedback or you update me, Thank you for your time, honestly, because I really love hearing that. And then I had a couple of people saying, hey, I met this person. I've been working on myself quite hard, but I don't think I want them though. And it's fine because your energy has grown. Therefore, you're going to be attracting new people. You're still crossing paths with that person, right? But it's in your hands to decide, do I want to be with them? Right? So in every reading you're going to notice, or it's going to be a Skype reading or a video, I always like to tell you and mention so that you don't forget, you are the one who is going to determine your future. And that is why I like to give you an empowering reading and focus on what it is that you might need to improve or what it is that your talent or ability is in order for you to really take something from it and say, hey, that is actually something that I've already been working on in many cases that happens because whatever I'm going to be telling you in the reading has already crossed your mind. So that is why in the very beginning, if you're going to be viewing my website on laptop, it shows more so than on, on the phone. When you just open it, I do have words pop up saying everything I am about to tell you has already crossed your mind. And that is very, very true. You have all the power, all the potential, my job is to bring it out of you or to give you confirmations or to give you a bit more guidance what it is where the focus should be but in i'd say 90 percent of the cases you already have thought of it yourself but you just need a bit of that kick right from your own higher self from your guides you know whichever energy i'm connecting to so that was a very long description of the <laughs> of the uh, uh, private reads, but I had to go through everything quickly for you guys. And also, I don't know if I've mentioned just yet, I do have, I think, around six more spots for November. So once I'll feel like I have those spots booked, I am going to make those readings out of stock until I feel I'm ready to take the new ones because I don't want to have more than a month waiting time unless you email me saying Brigitte I don't care I wanna pre-book meaning I don't mind this reading to be delivered let's say 
couple of months from now or some people what they do they like okay I know I'm gonna need a wedding for January so can I book myself in right so drop me a message if that's the case but overall I'll try not to go overboard more than a month um, because as you know guys I'm not taking more than three people a day and that's why my waiting time is a bit longer than maybe other people's so you'll find other readers who do it much quicker than I do. I like to have specific amount of energy for every person. For other people, it doesn't work the same like for me. So it's not to say that, you know, other people overbook or they don't have enough energy for you. It's just how I work. And that's my kind of ethics. And that's what I like to keep on doing until maybe I'm going to decide to switch it up one day. But I really want to focus on a couple of people a day and give you that energy and time of mine instead of overbooking and that's it I think that's all I do have to say guys I'm so sorry for those who have received an email from me I think the past three days because I haven't corrected a date on the uh, on the <laughs> draft email I said I'm gonna be waiting for people to book until the first of November and that was the old email I've sent to people <laughs> who were waiting in line so no you can still book uh, with me uh, ignore the first of November okay <laughs> just ignore it <laughs> sorry guys there's a lot happening so I'm just trying to touch on everything but I'm finally settled and I will try doing four YouTube readings a week. Obviously, if something comes up, I'll have to skip one. But that is my goal. So in the last reading, I think I have mentioned that, guys, and you started sending me suggestions. Thank you very much. I'm going to be doing readings based on those suggestions as well as what I feel is needed for the collective. Okay? So yeah, that is it. I am looking forward to working with you. Bye for now.